Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So, I have two packages here, and they are for two different things, but I just wanted to uh, knock them out because one of them's not really a video type deal. Um, sorry, I'm just finishing something. There we go. All right, so this one is a pouch. Um, let's use the Javelina Jack. Uh, these have dropped a while ago at this point, but I'm sure you can still get one somewhere. Uh, fantastic knife. Really, really dig it. Um, as usual from Ben, but, um, we'll see. We'll see if he ever drops one that I don't like. <laughs> ah, all right. So... This one's from Ian. Uh, shout out to Ian G on uh, Instagram and YouTube. Um, he impulse buys these. Um, so this is a V1 White Mighty Pouch Chicago. He's always on top of these drops. And um, I love that they all come with a custom bag. Like, that's crazy. Uh, we got some... Religious stuff. Not a big fan of that on my products, but whatever. Whatever. All right, so this is a Mighty Pouch, and I said I would buy it, and I didn't realize right away that it is a... It doesn't have a patch spot. So it's got, like, a pocket here. No Velcro or anything, so I don't know what you would put there. And then you have the pouch inside. Now, this one's a lot smaller than... Um, well, not a lot, but it's smaller than the Mighty Pouch. So I was the plus. This is the regular one. So I was thinking I would fill this one up with some KPL products, um, you know, Loctite, that kind of stuff, and fill out my uh, backpack that I got with that. So I would have two pouches, basically, one with like multi tool, driver, pen, etc. And then this one with like, you know, KPL, a couple of swabs and um, Loctite, the lubes, that kind of stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I'll update you guys, maybe do a final backpack video once I get that all situated. Um, but, you know, I usually put like bits or whatever in there. And so I'll have to figure out what to do because I already have one decked out like that. Maybe I'll mix and match stuff from both of them. But this is cool. Uh, it is very small. So that is something you just have to deal with. Um, this is like what I'd be putting in here, you know. I'd put probably a heavy and an original. And then I'd probably try to squeeze some of those microfiber Q-tips and Loctite in here. Uh, maybe a small pry, pry bar of some kind would work. Uh, you'd need a mini pry, I guess. See, that's the kind of thing with how small this is. It's a little bit obnoxious, but we'll see. So, anyway, there you go. Let me know what you guys think of that. Next up, I have a package from uh, Asher Knife Co. So, a uh, big shout out to Asher Knives. It's AsherKnives.com, but Asher Knife Co. Um, absolutely love Justin over there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see. Looks like we have two things. I didn't know there was two things coming. We have, ooh, okay. So, I don't know what's in here. Let me take a look. But first, we have a um, Axis Style Lock Knife Spiro. So, I did just send it. Um, it sucks. I just sent him back all the prototypes that I had. But it's the Spiro with the Fuller. And it's the Axis Style one, which is cool. Definitely updated the spring. So the one I had in was the Nomad 4.0, which might be what that is. This is awesome. Um, I am a big fan of this. Let's go ahead and swap the clip over. So we got the wire clip on here. Looks like we're rocking T6. It's uh, manufactured by Kunwoo. It's kind of how they roll for some reason. Um, I wonder if I could put like a lynch clip on here, but... Don't know if I would do that anyway. Just cause. I don't know if I would, but in case you guys are curious, I guess we could find out. I would want what would we want? A uh, a stone wash? I think I might have a stone wash one. That's a satin. 
There we go. Stone wash. Do I have an open one? Don't think so. It reminds me, I have all these little drivers over here. That'd be good to use for the pouch. So let's... <clears throat> See if she fits all right probably not would be my guess but we'll see oh what, what maybe maybe might be easier to do the slide method damn it I will get you in there. I will get you, my pretty. It does feel like it's a little too thin spacing, but we'll see. I've had this problem with their own knives, Kun Wu's own knives. Uh, you just can't get the... Um, you can't get the screw to bite like it looks like it fits honestly um but you need that screw to bite to drive it in and it just does not want to bite so i'm guessing if somehow i use a longer screw you know to catch better but man it's not gonna work so, see if I can't get this guy in. And honestly, you know what? This knife looks like it it goes pretty well with the uh, wire clip it has. So, well, let's make sure it works with the. Uh, there we go. Okay. So put this away. Put away my uh, scales for the goat tools multi tool if that ever shows up. I will have those ready. Cool. So, yeah. That feels pretty good, honestly. Yeah, I like it. It's a little bit of a chunky knife. So, you know, the thickness here... Oops. The thickness here is going to be at least half an inch, maybe more. Yeah, 0. 0.52, bit chunky, but that's okay, you know, um, it feels great, it really does. I love the monoblock construction he's doing on a lot of stuff. You can see there's only the one seam right here. There's no seam here, so that's, that's not a backspacer. There's a monoblock construction, which maybe... That has something to do with how they're doing um, axis style locks. Maybe it's easier for them to do. I don't know. But she flicks like a beast. Yeah, I really like this. I'm excited to try their model too, the Pulsar. So this is all very cool. You can see something weird. in What is that? Oh, it was just something in there. Okay. Cool. But yeah, that spring feels great. So then we have this. Oh, what? Dude, cool. Um, So th this is, I thought he wasn't sending this. He, look at this, all different collars. So you have a blue collar, you have a brass collar, and you have a um, carbon fiber looking collar. Looks just black, but. Whatever. And then the one I like, honestly, is the purple. That's in there. It looks like, and he's got it set up for lefty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is dope. This is the uh, Spiro. Snappy. Smooth. Lefty. Gotta get up here. There you go. Man. 
Very comfortable in hand. So cool. Really enjoyed the prototype of this one. So I'll see uh, if he sent this for me or if he wanted me to give it away. I'm not sure. Uh, all I knew that was coming was this. So um, cool. Fires. Yeah, it's got the collar on one side. Um, oh, I didn't expect it to work that way. Look at that, lefty. Yeah, so here's the, uh, it's brother. Right here. So you got the one with the hole, and you got the one with the fuller and the stud. I think this one's thicker, but I'm not certain. No, maybe not. They do look different, though. One's a little taller, it seems like. Let's see. Yeah, the handle's a little different. You can see it here. You can see the choil's a little different. I mean, most of it's very similar. I really did think this one was thinner. Man. Nice stone wash. Oh, yeah, that's got a good, good edge on it there. I guess these collars, I wonder if the collars would work on this, too. <laughs> yeah. He's got some cool stuff. Um, he has a drop of these that got delayed. Um, he's working out some QC stuff. So um, I believe he said those went back to Kun Wu. Um, so he is waiting on that. And then when those come back, he'll do the drop of these. This one, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what the deal is with this one in terms of that. Um, but I really like it. I think it came out really well. I think the spring is good in there. Um, the action feels really solid. It flicks really well. Um, there's a little bit of play there. So let's see. Can we tighten it up? Grab the T8. Yep, just tighten it down a touch, see what happens. No more play, and still very good action. Look at that. That's pretty sick. I mean, considering axis lock and all that, everything feels really solid. The bearings are different in there. I don't know if they're the multi-row or something. They look a little thinner and plastic, but that's fine. Let's see what happens if I... Uh, what happened there? Interesting. Tighten it down. Still good, but I can't loosen it. It stops loosening right here. There's some kind of captive thing that I'm not catching. Or it's not captive, which obviously uh oh, now can I get it to dry back in? I'll happily leave it alone. Just, just let me. <laughs> ah, crap. What do I do now? Let's see if this helps. Put a little tension on her. It's not going to be any difference because of. 
the type of lock we're talking about, I don't think. Oh, okay, got it back in. No play. Huh. All right, well, I'll be leaving that alone. I don't want to mess with that. And uh, I'm sure it'll be fine, so. Dead centered, anyway, so that part's all good. Let's see if uh, this stuff tightens down. Yep, it's tight. Tight, yep, all good. Yeah, I really like this one. So this will be the Spiro, you know, Axis lock, I guess. I don't think he's done the Spiro yet in an Axis lock, so uh, cool to see that. All right, anyway, there you go. Uh, a couple of things came in, and uh, where's that mighty pouch here? And uh, I'll get them sorted out, and uh, you guys let me know what you think. Absolutely appreciate it. Uh, thank you to Justin over at Asher Knife Co. As always, dude, uh, you are the man. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, thank you. And I uh, love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I will catch you later.